Hey, this is Pastor Lafayette. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, it's Monday, and we are in Luke chapter 8. And it is, uh, looks like we're in verse 40 today. Now, Jesus had just cast out the demons in a region of the Gadarenes, cast out demons of a man, told him to go to his own house and tell everyone the great things God had done for him. So he is asked by the people in that region to please leave. They don't like his methods, I guess. Fear, who knows. So he gets back in the boat, apparently. doesn't say that, but I'm going to assume that he got there by boat. He probably left by boat. We pick up in verse 40. So it was when Jesus returned that the multitude welcomed him, for they were all uh, waiting for him. And behold, there came a man named uh, Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house. For he had an only daughter, about twelve years of age, and she was dying. But as he went, the multitudes thronged him. Now a woman had a, having a flow of blood for twelve years, who had spent all her livelihood on physicians, and could not be healed by any, came from behind and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her flow of blood stopped. Jesus said, Who touched me? <coughs> when all denied it, Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitudes throng and press you. And you say, Who touched me? But Jesus said, Somebody touched me. For I perceived power going out from me. Now when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling, falling down before him. She declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said to her daughter, Be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. <coughs> now, this is a critical lesson for every single one of us today. First off, we understand that Jairus comes to Jesus. He needs someone to go and heal his daughter. Jesus says, okay, critical lesson number one. Never in the Word, never in the Bible do I ever see Jesus refusing to heal somebody. My friend, I think it's the exact same today. Jesus wants to heal you. It's a fact. It's his plan. It's what he wants. He wants to heal you. He would never deny you. If you went to his face and asked him, he would never deny you. But there's another critical key here. As Jesus was walking, it said multitudes thronged him. Everyone was reaching out to Jesus. Oh, look, it's, it's Jesus. And they were all excited. And maybe they're touching because they thought, man, it's kind of like touching royalty. Or maybe it's like, man, this guy is, wow. I mean, I, I, mean, I touched him. I, I, I touched him. I got a handkerchief or, you know, it's like a souvenir. I don't know. Being kissed by a movie star, I'll never wash my face. I don't know. But one woman touched him differently. She needed healing. Everyone else touched him. And apparently they received nothing. <coughs> but this woman had a purpose and she reached out and she touched him. She came from behind trying to do it secretly, just reached out and touched his garment. Maybe she didn't feel like she could or was, or was worthy to. I, I don't know. But she touched him. She touched Jesus with purpose, and she was healed. He d listened to me. He didn't even know that she was behind him, that she was going to touch him. Someone say, well, he knows everything. Okay, he's Jesus on the earth. He's, he's God on earth. He emptied himself. He's walking along. Um, someone reaches out to touch him. 
And understand what I'm going to say to you. It wasn't necessarily his will. It was their faith. They touched him. He was unaware that anyone was even approaching him to touch him for healing. They touched him, or she touched him, <coughs> and she was healed because she believed. She needed to touch him. Two instances right there, my friend. Jesus said, okay, I'll go. But on the way, someone touched him. He wasn't even going to them. They came to him. And they touched him. And power left. And by faith, she was healed. What did he say to her? Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Father, help us to understand today that if we approach you in faith, we receive. Let your healing power, Father, even today flow. Heal. Touch. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.